Michael, it's cold. Um, what's that meant for training this morning? Uh, we'll probably have to go and train at, well, we will go and train at the 3G at Winchcombe School today, so just something you've had to do, we have to deal with it. The level where we're at, we don't have under so heating the training grounds or our own Astro, so it's been happened for years here, so it's not a problem. And I suppose more important that the players train at all rather than you know train on a surface that isn't grass. Yeah, well, it's just it's dangerous to train out there at the minute. So um, lots of clubs train full time on Astro turf now. So it's it, it, like I said, it is part and parcel of the game. A lot of the younger players grow up on Astro turf these days anyway, with the in the academies. What's last week's comeback done for the players this week in, in training? Because I suppose you know it, it does just show how quickly you can turn things around, even in a single game. Well, I thought we were excellent after the first. Well, as soon as the second goal went in, I thought we were excellent. Now, you can't really legislate for individual errors as we did, but I said after the game, uh, Scotty Flinders has been excellent for us this season, particularly in the, the first Macclesfield game. So, the player's got. He doesn't need to be told that he made probably two or three mistakes. But for the 70, 75 minutes after the second goal, I thought we were excellent because it's not easy to break 10 men down and we broke them down a lot um, and yes we, we scored three good goals the keepers had a really good game was quite often if you do a training session 11 against 10 quite often you, you hardly get a shot because they just bank in and it's difficult so I thought we moved the ball well I think Sol was quite complimentary after the game of how we how we did use the extra man they had a couple of things go against them but it's up to us to take advantage of that which we did Obviously the result somewhat overshadowed by events from the terraces. Have you got a message for the fans? Obviously the club's had it say, but have you got a message? Well, you, you just don't want to sit in any walk of life. Um, I'll be honest, I didn't hear anything. Um, and I don't think Sol heard anything, but it's obviously something happened. So it's disappointing because we are a community club. We're a family club. We don't want that in our football club. So whoever it was, and I think the club have already made a statement saying that they will deal with it. There's a full investigation and I'm sure anyone found guilty of doing any such doing will will be banned, quite rightly so as well. So it's, you know, as, as a dad to two young kids, you, you don't want that sort of language being used anywhere. On to Cambridge this weekend and I suppose they've just, you know, ended a, a three-game winning run. Thoughts on them? Big game. Said in another cup final on the same points as us. Um, like you said, they off the back of three three good results so more interest in us than them we need to keep trying to build what we're, we're trying to do we know it's, every game's difficult in this league because there's funny results every week and I say it every week because there is funny results every week so it's two very very similar teams points will tell you that so we need to build again from the momentum from last week ideally yeah, and that momentum, is that something that you've been able to emphasise to the players this week? Not really, no. Um, because it's just another game. So we we turned the game around last week, which isn't diff isn't easy, sorry, after a difficult start. Um, but you can only take it one game at a time. You can only do 45 minutes at a time. You, know, you can, can you do, We need to start putting two half together. That's, that's the most, that's the main message that's been told to the players this week. We, we can't keep turning up for 60 minutes, 45 minutes and then giving goals away in, in, in the poorer moments. We need to stay tuned in. You know, you won't always play well for 90 minutes, but we can still stay tuned in and not give sloppy goals away in those in those moments. You wanted two more players in when we last spoke to you at the weekend. You've got Jordan Tilson in. Um, presumably he's the sort of player who's going to fill that Nigel Attingana role that you haven't had since Nigel got injured. I think he fits the profile of what we're looking at. Um, because the market that we hit, that what you have been in has been, you know, they're looking at first-time loans, young kids who are very good players, but you never know what you're going to get with a first-time loan. Or you're looking for players who haven't played at a club for three or four months, which is, you know, uh, Tyrone Barnett when we brought him in, that, that sort of scenario. So when Jordan came available, it's, he's played 25 games this season already. He's 25, he's got good legs, good energy. Um, I think he's played 70 games in the last two years. That's a team that's finished in around the playoffs. So I think he's... Um, and he's, and he's a good character as well. So the, he, he ticked every box for us, really. And presumably great to get him in at the start of the week so you can get him uh, settled in with the lads and you know, a few training sessions into him as well. Yeah, well, you get them in when you can get them in. It's not a... There's so many plates spinning, it's the term I've used quite a lot, because there is, and it's, it's still going on. Um, 
well, I don't think we'll probably bring anyone in now, but there's still a potential for a couple, but it's highly unlikely. But there's been a lot of hard work goes into getting a player over the line. So we're, we're pleased with John. Obviously, he needs to deliver. He needs to do well for us. But for regards to ticking boxes of what we need, it's he, he's ticked a lot of the boxes. Slim chances then of getting someone else in, but any chance of someone going out? Not today, I don't think, no. Um, there's been a couple of phone calls from a couple of people, but I don't think anything will be happening out, going out. Injuries, any change to the situation from last weekend? Uh, I think Johnny Mullins, we've just got to wait and see how he is. Uh, Jordan Forster's obviously got a, he's still on the protocol. I think he's going to be all right, but he's still following that. So if he has one day where he, he doesn't feel quite right, then that obviously goes back to day one. So um, other than that, I think we're, we're good.